Jacob Lawrence once said, the United States is a great country. It is a great country because of people like John Brown, Frederick Douglass, Abraham Lincoln, Sojourner Truth, and Harriet Tubman. I recall learning of Harriet Tubman from my mother and from the many school teachers and librarians within the New York Harlem's community with whom I had the opportunity of coming in contact with when I was just a young boy of about five or six years old. Like so many young people who had this opportunity, I will always remember the drama and the exploits of Harriet. I was told that Harriet Tubman was born a slave and that she fled her slave masters just prior to the Civil War. She organized other slaves and, moving through the Underground Railroad, made 19 trips from south to north, always following the North Star until she and the other runaway slaves reached the vast snowy fields of Canada. It was a perilous journey. The slave owners and the hound dogs were always on their tracks searching for runaway slaves. Harriet Tubman was a very daring and brave woman. American history has always been one of my favorite subjects. Given the opportunity to select from American history, I chose to do a number of paintings in tribute to Harriet Tubman, a most remarkable woman, and in doing so also to pay tribute and honor to my late mother, Rosalie, and to my wife, Gwen. These three women have contributed much to making it possible for me to develop, to live, to grow and to fully appreciate the challenges and the beauty of life in general, and to express through the elements of color, line, texture, shape, and value, the wisdom of an almighty God. Jacob Lawrence, October 11th, 1992. Harriet and the Promised Land by Jacob Lawrence. This is a story of Harriet Tubman, born a slave in Maryland around 1820, who made a daring escape to the North and freedom. At the risk of her life, she returned 19 times to lead over 300 of her people to the Promised Land. Harriet, Harriet, born a slave. Work for your master from your cradle to your grave. Harriet clean, Harriet sweep, Harriet rock the children to sleep. Harriet hear tell about the promised land, how Moses led the slaves over Egypt's sand, how Pharaoh's heart was hard as stone, how the Lord told Moses he was not alone. Harriet pray to the Lord at night for strength to free your people when the time is right. Harriet grow bigger, Harriet grow stronger, Harriet work harder, Harriet work longer. Then Harriet got the sign that the time was right. She cried, brothers, sisters, I'll lead you tonight. The North Star shone to light Harriet's way and they marched by night and they slept by day. Some were afraid, but none turned back for close at their heels howled the bloodhound pack. A snake said, hiss. An owl said, who? Harriet said, we are coming through. A runaway slave with a price on her head. I'll be free, said Harriet, or I'll be dead. She said, believe in the Lord. She said, believe in me. She said, brothers, sisters, we're going to be free. They slept in a barn with the barnyard fowl, and Harriet kept watch like a barnyard owl. Good people gave them food to eat and a chance to rest their weary feet. They gave Harriet chickens to disguise the runaway slaves from spying eyes. Then the north wind howled like a bloodhound pack, but none were afraid and none turned back. Harriet led them cross the snow toward the promised land as Moses led his people cross the burning sand. They marched through the cold, they marched through the heat, and the only sound was their marching feet. Now they marched by day, now they marched by night. Still, the promised land was not in sight. Now Harriet grew weary and sick at heart. Now the Lord sent Harriet a chariot. 
The chariot was sent by the Lord's own hand, and Harriet rode the chariot to the promised land. Harriet, Harriet, born to be free, led her people to liberty.